The uh, Biden administration is trying to think about what it can do to <laughs> improve Democratic prospects in November. And um, it seems like the, the answer is not a lot, at least not a lot from their point of view. Now, if you talk to a independent analyst, they would say, listen, things are looking pretty bad. And there are economic indices that you can't easily change, inflation, high prices, a stagnant economy. And there are foreign policy disasters that you already did. And so those can't be reversed. Uh, you can't change the image in people's minds of people dropping out of planes, the Afghan humiliating retreat, even worse than Saigon. So the, um, but, there are certain things that you can do, Joe Biden, to improve things. And um, of course, you're improving on your own self-inflicted wounds. But let's say, for example, that you've begun to close the border, patch up the border, stop people from coming in, send a clear message. You could do that. Uh, and that would actually tell people that you are dealing with the problem through a problem entirely of your own creation, but you at least recognize what the magnitude of the problem when you're trying to stop it. But of course, Biden has no intention of doing this. It's completely off the table. This notion of flooding the country with illegals is like a dug in policy on the part of these guys. So kind of what I'm saying is that they are producing a tsunami of resistance against them, but they are completely unwilling to change the policies that they have put in place that have created the tsunami. So what else can they do then? What, what can they do to try to stop the hemorrhaging support uh, and to pre uh, prevent just a complete wipeout in November? Well, one answer is mules. <laughs> Bring out the mules. And, um, but even mules on the scale described in 2000 mules are not going to be enough to save the Democrats in November. Remember that the states that we covered in the movie were very close. And so, a uh, difference of a few hundred thousand votes across five states, quite enough to tip the election one way or the other. But that's not going to be the case in November. So, uh, here's an article by Molly Hemingway in The Federalist. And it's talking about a kind of desperate last-ditch attempt by Biden to sort of stir up the federal workforce, the federal workforce, to sort of mobilize for the Democrats. Now, Biden isn't saying that. He's not saying, I'm trying to get out the vote for Democrats. But you'll see that this is, in fact, what they're trying to do. So here's what's happened. The Biden administration has issued an executive order. This was issued actually last year directing all 600 federal agencies to submit plans to the White House to, quote, increase voter registration and turnout. So think about this. The federal workforce is made up of highly partisan, um, lifelong bureaucrats. We're talking here about the Department of Housing and Urban Development. I mean, think of what a rat-infested operation that is. The Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Labor. These are places that just, they're like the densely populated, the Calcutta of bu bureaucrats. And what Biden wants to do is unleash these bureaucrats to use federal facilities to create new voting centers. So it's a kind of a get out the vote program. But while it's 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 presented in a kind of nonpartisan way, the idea here is to use federal resources and to use the, the, the federal government itself. Now, let's think about it. this is really what tyrannical and socialist countries do. Uh, India, which was socialist in the 1970s, it's much less socialist today, would do the same thing. You see government vans showing up in the slums to sort of round people up and take them to the to the polls. In many cases, there, there was also bribery involved. They would get meals and things like that. But here we go. The Department of Housing and Urban Development here uh, says that they could turn assisted housing centers into get out the vote hubs. Uh, health and Human Services is doing the same with its so-called public health centers. They've set up these public health centers to deal with COVID. They're like, you know what? We can use those to as places where people could come register, as places where people can come vote. The Department of Labor is turning job centers into voter registration agencies. So all of this is the Biden administration working in tandem with left-wing partisans. 
uh, to get out the vote. It's reminiscent of what Zuckerberg did in his own way by funding drop boxes, but also infiltrating election offices. There are a number of states that have outlawed the Zuckerberg operation. So here's Biden with his polls at rock bottom. I mean, this guy is so low. Uh, he's lower than Trump. He's lower than Bush at the depths of the Iraq war. Um, he's lower than Jimmy Carter. He's so, so low that he's basically looking at the ground. And I think he's hoping that this last ditch effort way, which may not save the Democrats, might at least help them to save face.